Hello guys, welcome back to Cold War World War II reenacting and reviews. Today I just want to make a little special video video for you guys. Today we're going to be going over every single cap that I currently own. This means side cap, field caps, berets, whatever, it's items that you would wear on your head, pretty much. First item, if I, if I, if I owned a mannequin head, it'd be perfect. First item is a Waffen SS infantry side cap from Hessen Antiques. No, sorry, um, Epic Militaria. Size 57. I'll put it on. It's qu honestly, it's quite tight. Um, I'm probably, I'm probably just going to give this one to Alex eventually. Or something, I don't know. Because I, I, if I do if I do start a SS, uh, if I do start an, an SS uh, reenactment, I have the cap ready, but I'll probably have to get a new, a better size. Next, next cap, this is a big one. A Soviet era Yushanka. Let's put this back. Obviously, it's classic Yushanka in black in black felt, well, black puffiness. You know, you can remove this over here and make the the flaps go over your ears. You know, as a an a enamel uh, aluminum uh, reef. With the communist star and hammer and sickle in the middle. Oh, next item. A World War II German general's um, general field cap. This is an M43. That's the uh, designation by by collectors. So this is more like a. I I wrote that it's more it's more like a 59 honestly, because when I wear it. it way too large it's just slightly too large slightly too large i'm probably gonna have to get a new one a 59 a 58 a true 58 you know okay whites this is called a ski cap what it is uh, you can take this over here and there you go that's why it's called a ski cap Turns this into a cap that you put over your head to cover your ears and stuff. That's what basically this kind of caps are issued to mountain troops and eventually regular infantry. Like in late 43, 44. Next item is a German World War II infantry army cap. Herr cap. Okay, side cap. Obviously, white often farbe. This is infantry. Always remember, remember guys, white on anything, Second World War or even East German, is infantry. Or even Bundeswehr. White is infantry. It has a um, cockade, you know, national tricolors, black, white, and red. The eagle. This is a 50, this is, this is a 58 made by Robert, Robert Lipstein. <coughs> it's a 58. Uh, I got this from... Um, Soldier of Fortune, I'll put a link down below where you can buy one. Next cap. I just got this one yesterday. This is a original East German side cap. I'm going to take the SS cap to show. The design is almost identical. It's nearly identical. It's exactly identical to, to, to that the East uh, the Waffen SS caps. Your, your basic uh, caps, you know. Except it has the so, uh, communist uh, symbol here, the hammer and the compass with the German flags and the gold reef. So, where is it? This is a 59 NVA. Those are genuine markings over there, by the way. They're, it's, it's beautiful. Next cap is a beret. It is a modern Canadian beret. That's, um,. Honestly, way too big for my head. It's made in Canada. It's, um... Wool, you know. It's nice. It's nice and comfortable, you know. If only I had a size larger, it'd be perfect for me. 
Next two items are exactly the same, so I'm gonna pair them together. These are um, air fuel, like, uh, obviously those are the names of the, so the uh, soldier. These are uh, garrison caps, Canadian modern Air, air Force gar garrison caps. You know, they're nice, very nice. I, you know, picked these up at a surplus store and uh, enjoyed them. So yeah. And that, let me put them all back here. Boom, 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 boom. And that, everybody, is my total collection of caps. I will be getting some soon, again. Um, some for Christmas, some for my birthday, whatever. And uh, I'll make an update video if you guys want me to. Well, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. And have a great day. Ciao.